Good early afternoon, everybody. Super Jacks 01 here. Now, it's time for a, a little bit of an overdue Blu-ray update for uh, today, September 25th, 2024. Um, yeah, this video, uh, I got a total of eight Blu-rays. Two of these I actually got uh, last month during the month of August. <laughs> but, you know, I just, you know, kept holding them off until I got more couple more items. But now I finally got them. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. This first Blu-ray, uh, this is a 4K one. This I actually got earlier this morning at the Walmart store in Coventry, Rhode Island. And this is the 4K Blu-ray of Twister. Yep, this is the original film from 1995 uh, with starring with uh, Helen Hunt and uh, the late Bill Paxton. And I got this because I did also see the uh, the standalone sequel, Twisters, which came out this past summer, which I really enjoyed. And that film's coming to Blu-ray next month, uh, which I plan on getting. And since I was planning on getting that, I kind of figured, like, hey, you know, might as well get the original film on, on Blu-ray. I'll be honest, I kind of like Twisters a little more than this film, but this is still a great movie. Three. Very, very nice visually. And it was directed by none other than Jan Debont, who... Uh, Previously, who uh, he was the director of uh, Speed, which is one of my favorite action movies of all time. Yeah, but anyway, here we got the spine. This this is a, a four keyboard. This came out a couple months ago. I guess it was released to promote Twisters. And the back can says for the first time in 4K. Most years got a new feature at the legacy of Twister taken by the wind. Director J uh, Jan De Debont discusses the groundbreaking film. Commentary by Jan Debont and visual s effects supervisor Stephen Fangmeyer. Featurettes. Chasing the Storm, Twister's Revisit, Anatomy of a Twister, and HBO First Look at the Making of Twister. And Vel Helen, uh, Vel Holland, a human being, humans being music video. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Open this up. There's the digital copy code, which I've already entered it in. And here's the 4K Blu-ray disc. It's a it's a black disc. Yeah, and since now this is this is this is a Warner Brothers Blu-ray, and they're now doing this thing where now they're not, the 4K Blu-ray and the regular Blu-ray are now being sold separately. Yeah. But yeah, Twister, really, really, really good movie. All right, now the next three items. These are all DreamWorks animated films. We're gonna see a, a few DreamWorks movies in this update because over the this past summer. I finally did a, a, if you remember, back in the summer of 2021, I did a marathon where I watched all the Walt Disney Animation Studio films in order. Well, after so many people giving suggestions, I finally decided to do the film. Same with DreamWorks. And there's some movies that I either hadn't seen in years or hadn't seen at all that I was looking forward to checking out and or rewatching. So I got a couple here and um, I finished the marathon. And I'm going to put a link in the, in, in the description below, uh, you know, ranking all the dream, doing a best worst list on all the DreamWorks movies. So if you, want, if you want to go see what that list is, the link will be in the description. Anyway, but yeah, anyway, let, let's show them. Uh, this first one, this I got at um, about two weeks ago at uh, Target in Warwick, and I was surprised to find this. This is the 4K Blu-ray of Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. The first movie, that is. Uh, includes short film, Kung Fu Panda, Secrets of the Scroll, and much more. Yeah. I do actually have this film on DVD, but, you know, I thought it was cool to get on Blu-ray. Yeah, I was surprised to find this. I was just at Target one day, and I saw they had this one Blu-ray on the shelf there. This was the only copy they had there, and I didn't even know this this was had been made available. But, you know, I decided, you know, what the heck, I'll get it. Yeah, this is a really good movie. Like, you know, I, I, I remember liking this movie as a kid, and I played the... I, I do have the video game of this, and I played the video game of this movie a lot when I was a kid. I, th I think I played the video game more than I saw the movie. But, yeah, I didn't remember it being this good and this amazing. But, yeah, it's real. it's a really, really great movie. And, and that, that's great, because think about it, like, the concept of this movie is about a panda wanting to do kung fu. Like, on paper, that sounds like a recipe for disaster, but they actually put a lot of thought and effort into the story. Anyway, here we got the spine. Back, it says the same thing that's on a lot of other Universal Blu-rays. Uh, four times sharper than full HD, uh, with HDR for brighter, deeper, and more lifelike sound. Uh, for most users, got Secrets of the Scroll. Find out how Tigress, Viper, Monkey, Crane, and Mantis become the legendary Furious of Five Warriors in the short film. Uh, meet the cast. 
uh, pushing the boundaries, le leaving the panda dance, learning to draw, sound design, Kung Fu Fighting, music video by C. Lo, Do You Kung Fu, Mr. Ping's Noodle House, How to Use Chopsticks, Animals of the Kung Fu Panda, feature commentary with uh, directors John Stevenson and Mark Osborne. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get Kung Fu Panda 2 and Kung Fu Panda 3 on Blu-ray. I'm probably not going to get Kung Fu Panda 4, though, because I wasn't a fan of that film. Put this up. Here we got the uh, digital copy code. Food, uh, and uh, which I already entered then. And here's the regular Blu-ray disc, which is it's, it's an orange disc. And then here's the 4K Blu-ray, which this disc has artwork. You can see Po, Shifu, uh, Tai Lung, uh, Mantis, Tigress, Monkey, Crane, and Viper. But yeah, the first Kung Fu Panda movie is definitely an excellent movie indeed. Definitely check it out. All right, now these next two, these I got at the Music Magic Store um, about, uh, I think, uh, about a, sometime last month. I got them for both $3 each. First up, we have the Blu-ray DVD uh, Dragon Double Pack Blu-ray of How to Train Your Dragon. Spectacular, a must-see, stay by Scott Mance of Access Hollywood. Yeah. I actually, I used to own this film on DVD a while back, but then I, I gave the DVD away to uh, one of my cousins many, many years ago. But yeah, and this was another pleasant surprise. I saw this movie a few times when I was a kid. I actually saw it in theaters on opening weekend and then watched it a few times at home after that. And I remember liking this movie, simply. But, you know, as I got older and then when I heard, like, you know, more people's reviews, they so many people called it, called this, like, one of the best one of the best, if not the best, DreamWorks films ever made, and some say one of the best animated films ever made, so I went in with a curious mind, and man, I don't remember this movie, the movie, this movie being this good. I'm definitely also going to get the sequels of the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. This is, uh, I do think this is the weakest of the three movies, but still an amazing movie. Yep, and all we know, uh, this movie was directed by Chris Sanders and uh, Dean du Dubois, and uh, Chris Sanders, speaking of that, his new, his next movie is coming out this Friday, um, this weekend, actually. Because the next DreamWorks film is The Wild Robot, which I am so excited about checking out. I'm seeing that. I'm going to be seeing that movie on Friday morning. On Friday morning, uh, uh, morning, and I'm so excited because aside from the all the great reviews it's getting, it's like you know, it's just it looked amazing from the trailer. So I'm so excited to see that. But anyway, back to How to Train Your Dragon. This is a great movie indeed. I do think films two and three are better, but still, this is an, a phenomenal movie. Here we got the spine, the back. A thrilling action adventure saved by Claudia Pugue of USA Today and Funny and Touching is saved by Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. Well, as you just disc one, the Blu-ray has the legend of Bone Capper Dragon, Hiccup and the Gang return to search for a new for a mysterious dragon in this all new full scale ad adventure. Enhance the movie viewing experience with the animators court or featuring picture in picture storyboard, behind the scenes footage, and insightful interviews. Watch BD Live Extras. Um, uncover or more dragon fa fun facts through the pop-up trivia, race for the go gold in the Viking Winter Games, hear about, um, hear more about author Krasena Kowal, discover to leave it scenes, learn to draw toothless, take the Viking personality test, and much fury more. This too, which is the DVD, has filmmakers commentary, Viking Slay's cast, and the technical industry of dragons. Yeah, so I believe this is the original Blu-ray from 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's that three dollar sticker there. I, I I tried to get them off, but it's one of those stickers that was really stuck onto the slip cover. Anyway, anyway, here's the Blu-ray disc, which is a blue disc, and then here is the DVD, which is a gray disc. But yeah, How to Train Your Dragon, great, great, great movie. I also will get uh, the sequels on Blu-ray soon. All right, and the last DreamWorks movie I got this I also got at Music Magic the same day as I got the I got the How to Train Your Dragon Blu-ray. This is Megamind. I believe this is also the, the original Blu-ray from 2011. Mega, mega, mega funny story by Pat Collins of, of Fox New York, News New York. Yeah, this was another... Now, this, I had never owned this movie on DVD or any kind of format before that. Because prior to this marathon, I had only saw this movie once. It was back, actually, when I saw it in theaters back on opening weekend, back in November of 2010. And similar to before, like, I thought it was simply good and everything. Because remember, as a kid, I wasn't the hugest fan of DreamWorks. But, you know, but then, like I said, apparently I was, of this, when I was doing this marathon, this was the movie I was looking forward to checking out because this movie has gained a huge, huge cult following in recent years. And it's been dubbed by many, uh, by like, is like this underrated masterpiece. 
And like Shea Ferellis did an excellent, excellent review on uh, his channel. You definitely go check that out if you haven't yet. Which, but I'm sure most of you have probably seen it. And yeah, for this marathon, I absolutely loved this movie. Definitely one of the best DreamWorks films. And I'm so upset we never got a proper sequel. Yes, a proper sequel. I'm not counting Megamind versus the Doom Syndicate. <laughs> I don't think anyone is. But yeah, this Megamind, this was a really, really good movie. And honestly, it's probably one of Will Ferrell's best performances, in my opinion. Here we got the spine. Back, mind-boggling fun is stayed by James Verney or of Boston Herald. Once you just this one of the Blu-ray has Megamind, the button of doom, Megamind, the minion, return to battle, an even bigger foe in this all-new mega comedy adventure. Enhance the movie viewing experience. Uncover more Megamind fun facts with a trivia track. Put your own hilarious twist on scenes from the film with interactive comic creator. Meet the cast. Discover the lost scene. Visit Megamind's lair. Experience animator man. Learn to draw Megamind. Unleash the rang of Megamind. And, um, video comic book, filmmakers commentary, and fun high, flying games, and more. And then disc two, the DVD has, uh, you know, the, the commentary, the meet the cast, and the discover the lost scene. Yep. All right, here's the blurry disc, which is also a blue disc, and then the DVD, which is also a gray disc. Yeah. Yeah, Megamind, awesome movie. Definitely check it out if you haven't. All right, now, these next two Blu-rays, these I got last month at Walmart in North Coast Rhode Island. I think I got them on the same day, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and these, uh, I got them both the day after the release dates. So first up, we got the Blu-ray, uh, Collector's Edition Blu-ray of the Bike Riders, Outsiders Become Legends. Yeah, this is just the regular Blu-ray. Yeah, I didn't get the 4K Blu-ray, because honestly, what, when this Blu-ray came out, when I first saw it, Walmart did not have the 4 I didn't even know there was a 4K Blu-ray of this release. Like, you know, all the Blu-rays of the Bike Riders on the shelf were just... The regular Blu-ray. Later on, like, you know, actually I was there a couple, you know, when I was at Walmart uh, today and a couple days ago, suddenly the, they had copies of the 4K Blu-ray on, like, you know, all the shelves at the other Walmarts. I don't know about the the regular Walmart near me, but, you know. But, you know, I'm not too bummed about that because, like, even though I simply like this movie, I, I wasn't, like, I didn't, like, love it and everything to the point where I'm like, I gotta get this in 4K. But, yeah. Yeah, this is a, um, you know, a movie that stars uh, Jodie Comer, Austin Butler, and Tom Hardy. This premiered last year at the film festival, but it wasn't released this uh, in theaters worldwide. And uh, this this was premiered at uh, you know the at a film festival back in the fall of 2023, but it wasn't released worldwide um, until for the public until uh, this past summer. It was originally going to be released uh, during the holidays uh, by 20th Century Fox. Yes, I am still referring to this to you by that name. But then when the actors' strike happened, uh, you know they decided to delay the movie, and Fox gave up distribution rights, and then the distribution rights were then picked up by Focus Features. And they released the film this past summer. And I saw this movie in theaters at the All South County Cinemas Movie Theater in South Kingston, Rhode Island. And I liked this movie. I didn't love it or anything, but, you know, I figured, you know, I liked it enough that, you know, they were selling it on, on Blu-ray for like 22 bucks. So I kind of just thought, eh, what the heck? Anyway, here we got the spine. Back. Electrifyingly entertaining. It's by Collider. For us, you just got... Uh, Johnny, Benny, and Kathy, The Era of the Bike Raiders, Future Commentary with writer and director Jeff Nichols, and more. Yeah, I gotta admit, not a bad movie, actually. Here we got the digital copy code, and since this is a universal Blu-ray, it's just a see-through disc. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking out The Bike Raiders if you're looking to kill some time. Not a bad movie, actually. All right, now this next one, this is, I got at Walmart the same as I got the Bike Riders Blu-ray. And oh yeah, this is this is a good, a good one. This is one of my favorite movies of this year. This is, yep, Furiosa, A Mad Max Saga. Yep, this is a spinoff slash prequel to, uh, this is a spinoff of the uh, Mad Max movies. And it's also a prequel to Mad Max Fury Road, featuring a, uh, you know, focusing on the origin story of Furiosa, who in this movie is excellently played by Anya Taylor-Joy. This movie further shows how great of an actor she is. It also stars Chris Hemsworth as the villain, which is, this is probably his best performance outside of Thor. I, I jokingly say his performance was probably his apology letter for Thor, Love, and Thunder. <laughs> but yeah, I really loved this movie. This is currently my second favorite movie of the year, just behind Deadpool and Wolverine. And I'm so disappointed that it bobbed horribly at the box office. It just seems like people just were not interested in seeing this, at least not in the theaters. I think it did pretty well on streaming, though, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but it sucks that not many people saw it because this movie was amazing. I saw it in theaters on the Thursday night preview screening in IMAX, and it looked amazing. It seems like audiences were kind of divided on this movie, though. Like, like critics loved it, but apparently audiences were divided. Like, one side absolutely loved it. Others 
thought it was um, it was just good, and others just were very disappointed by it. Yeah. Hopefully, though, I'm worried, though, that this underperforming will prevent the next Mad Max film, The Wasteland, from ever seeing the light of day. But, you know, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I personally really loved, loved this movie. Here we got the spine. Back, Fury is born. We just got a uh, highway to Vala in pursuit of Furiosa. Furiosa, a stowaway to nowhere. Mental Beast in Hollywood Motors. Darkest Angel, Anya Taylor-Joy as Furiosa. Motorbike Messiah, Chris Hemsworth. Earth as Dementas. Yeah. Yeah, just this is definitely one of the best spinoffs ever. Here's the digital copy code, and here's the 4K Blu-ray disc. Yeah. Furiosa, amazing, amazing, amazing movie. Definitely, definitely check it out. All right, now this, this Blu-ray, this I got yesterday at the Walmart store in Cranston, Rowland. Yeah, I had to go there because at that time, uh, yesterday, this was the only store Walmart store near me or store near me that was selling uh, this particular version of, of this movie. Of course, then later, all the stores, uh, when I went to the Walmart Coventry, they had some on the shelf there. <laughs> this is the 4K Blu-ray of Bad Boys Ride or Die. Mm -hmm. Includes all new post credit scene, yeah. I know I don't have the first three Bad Boys films on Blu-ray yet, but I'm going to try and get those soon. But yeah, I saw this movie uh, back at the Thursday night preview screen back on back in June because at that time we had just begun filming Matt uh, Max Revenge on the Run, which we're still filming. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a community post talking about what's going on with Max Revenge on the Run later today. So please keep it eye out for that. I decided to check out more action movies. So yeah, so I promise I will get Bad Boys, Bad Boys Two, and Bad Boys for Life on Blu-ray soon. But yeah, Bad Boys Ride or Die though this was a really fun action movie. I, this is my favorite currently my favorite of the Bad Boys movies. Definitely definitely a lot of fun. Even if you've never seen any of the previous Bad Boys movies, I definitely recommend checking this movie out if you haven't. Here we got the spine. So yeah, I had to go to the Walmart in Cranston because that was, at that time yesterday, it was the only store near me that was selling the 4K Blu-ray. But now, of course, all the other Walmarts are doing it now. <laughs> anyway, here we got the spine. Back, nonstop action and laughs to stay by Brandon Davis, a comic book. And the best Bad Boys yet, stay by Naz Perez of Fandango. Most of you just got out outtakes and bloopers, deleted scenes, also includes Will and Martin Chemistry, uh, Legacy and Laughs, the Bruckheimer Legacy, Crafting Bad Boys and Beyond, Fights, Camera, Action, Partners in Crime, plus an all-new post credit scene. Yeah. Gonna open this up. Here's the 4K Blu-ray, which has the... Uh, and then here is the regular Blu-ray. Both have artwork, because this is a Sony Blu-ray. But yeah. Bad Boys Ride or Die, really, really good and fun movie. Definitely recommend it. All right, and the last Blu-ray, this, this came out a couple weeks ago, and I got this at the Walmart store in Warwick, Rhode Island. Uh, the day it came out, this is the one you've all been waiting for, Yep. The Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD combo of Inside Out 2, yeah. Now, this is the first Pixar film uh, since the since Incredibles 2 that I did not get on 4K because, uh, for a couple of reasons, um, as we all know, that the Disney Movie Club is no longer in, in access, and also um, Best Buy stopped selling physical media, so... But yeah, and usually Disney, uh, prior to that, Disney Movie Club was doing this thing where basically the regular 4K Blu-rays was uh, the only place where you can get them, you know, just the re like a regular standard 4K. But now that's um, that's not an option. And the only 4K Blu-ray of Inside Out 2 that was available was uh, the exclusive Steelbook sold at Walmarts. But I didn't get that for two reasons. One is that none of the Walmart stores near me were selling it. I guess you got to order online. And also, I did not like the cover for the Steelbook at all. I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of it. So I kind of just decided just to get the regular Blu-ray. And I, I kind of like this cover a little more. But yeah, Inside Out 2, this was a really good movie. As we all know, this broke the record. This is now the highest grossing animated film of all time. And I'm really glad it, glad it was. This was definitely the win that Pixar and, I guess, Disney needed. Because remember, Lightyear bombed at the box office a couple years ago. And then Elemental uh, did pretty decent last at the box office last summer. But, uh, you know, this was like, you know, the big win that they needed. And to show, to keep, that they can still release Pixar films in theaters. But yeah, really good, 
movie. As you all know, that I simply liked the first Inside Out, but I didn't love it as much as everyone else. But yeah, this this was a great sequel. I kind of liked it a little more than the first. First. Here we got the spine. Back. Absolute perfection. Hilarious. Stay by. Jazz Tangy of Variety. Bonus features. Uh, uh, we got the bonus features. First, we got new emotion. Uh, join cast and crew as they talk about creating anxiety, embarrassment, Enol, and Envy. Um, unlock the vault. Un unlocking the vault. Explore the inspiration for Riley's repressed memories. Delete scenes and more. Yeah. Here we got the uh, digital copy code. And you see, here's the uh, Blu-ray disc, which has Riley and her two friends. And then here's the regular Blu-ray, which also has Riley and... Oh, sorry, no, no, this is the DVD. Excuse me, sorry. This is the regular Blu-ray, and then this is the DVD, which has uh, Riley and one of the girls from the hockey camp. Yeah. This looks... I, I, I'm going to assume now that Pixar has stopped, is no longer doing the, uh, the two Blu-ray disc and DVD. Because the last one they did, the last Pixar film to have that was... Um, was uh turning red but you know the blu-rays of lightyear and uh elemental just had one regular blu-ray disc so i'm guessing that pixar is done doing that that's kind of a bummer but hey what are you gonna do but yeah you know what inside out 2 great 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 movie definitely recommend it all right that is my blu-ray update for today september 25th 2024 i will see you all for my next video coming soon